Hi guys, welcome to the show. Today we're doing a tasty, easy, yet very effective way of pouring a dish on liquid resin transport from Artsmola or Riesen Pro. Artsmola is a European Russian brand name, whereas in Europe you can find it as Resin Pro. Let me share a promo code for a 10% discount. I've mixed the liquid resin, exactly 45G. Focus here. Yes. And what we're doing, I'll be making a two-half filling, meaning on one side I'll be using a serving technique and on the other side I'll be using dry fruits, like these small strawberries and roses, but anyone who's worked with dry fruits and flowers knows that we can't pour them together at once with the technique because the dry fruits and flowers will float. Hence, we make a thin substrate, or if possible, you can trick the resin, lay out the fruits if they are large, and if you're going to overlap, cover the back side too. Then you can deceive the resin, cover them with pebbles. I have a lot of such tutorials on YouTube. Also, the smoky effect is done in two ways. Take a look, but now I will do it in the classic way. I will place dried fruits and dried flowers on a thin resin base in advance. I want to cut some strawberries into heart shapes. I dried strawberries in an electric dryer. And you can also dry them also in silica gel, on the windowsill in the oven. The only thing in the oven, you should have the oven slightly open all this time. And go around, control, because instead of dried strawberry pears, I got baked ones because I missed, sometimes forgot, forgot to open. The top, but it should be slightly open to dry it, so I suffered, suffered, and decided to buy an electric dryer. Especially since they are inexpensive, if you take not professional ones, so I bought mine for 500 rubles. If you often dry dried fruits, then berries, and there is also a very tasty fruit leather. And what's most, I don't know why, but for example, even strawberries, they are still sour. And so you don't eat it directly for pleasure, but for some reason, after drying in an electric dryer, it's super sweet. I don't know how it works, so the resin is mixed. Now we need to clean the mold with adhesive tape. Carefully clean the mold, do not scratch, because silicone is very delicate and well. Any scratch can leave a trace that will be imprinted. Then you will have it in resin. We don't need it, so we work carefully, eat, and now, guys, think about what you want dried fruits. What dried flowers have filling? I pour a thin layer. Here I mix just resin. And pour a thin layer in exactly the places where I will have a... There will be dried fruits and dried flowers. I distribute them neatly. I don't scratch the mold. I remove bubbles, like this, by the way. You, you can get rid of bubbles by spilling a small amount of them and clean them up if you have a bar burner. I have this bar burner. I bought it on Ozone in the MME cooking department. And where everything is for making cocktails, I once went there by accident and bought this one. Such a burner, it has a very small flame. It's very delicate and you can't set fire to resin with it. And you know, if you hold the burner for a long time, you can set fire to your resin very strongly. Before pouring the resin, let it stand for a while so that your resin gains viscosity. Because if you pour it right away, it can lie bald since it's a thin layer and doesn't completely fill the entire mold. If there are any grains, I have dried fruits, berries got in. Remove and warm up with quick, sharp movements. Remove the bubbles. Here, and try to do it together where the joint will be. Here, we will have the serving filling begin. And so that there is no step. That's why I ask you to wait for the resin. Try to make a step that is not too obvious, so that it's not too thick. When the resin gains viscosity, you can directly take it with a damp cloth and soften it a little, but I'll show you everything. First, I want to lay out my strawberries. See, they have a front side, that's where the seam is, and there's a pearl stitch, that's where we put the pearl ones facing us, and... 
mine naturally in the opposite direction because the face will be on the other side. I'm laying out my strawberry. Look carefully where there are bald spots. Don't put strawberries there. Yes, here's where I have them because you will have bald spots under the strawberries, which we don't need. So now you need to choose roses. By the way, I bought roses, you won't believe it, at a tea store. It's generally not for beauty, the roses are for tea. So if I get bored, I can brew a drink. Oh, they're super beautiful, such pretty flowers. I've already had berries. I've never had such twigs yet. Well, now I'll put them on and see. Yes, let there be twigs, so that's it, guys. Now I'm going to let it dry, and as I said, in about 40, 50 minutes, come up with a napkin and remove this edge so it's not sharply delineated because when we pour the top coating on, it will trip over this step and the effect won't be very good. Or you could even pour it higher like this so that it merges exactly, but it's better to remove. Pour it higher like this so then it merges precisely, but it's better to remove. So guys, on to the second step. I mixed the liquid resin. See, it's been five and a half hours for me. The resin still leaves a footprint, as you can see, but it's already hardened. In principle, it's ready to be poured. Look, here's another detail. More than all other resins, liquid resin can't handle humidity. It can't handle drafts, so no open windows. No airflow while working. Check the room temperature. I mixed the resin, combined the two components, and put them on a heater for a minute and a half. Not to increase the viscosity of the resin, we don't need that here, but to allow the bubbles to emerge. The bubbles come out nicely in the liquid resin, but as the resin heats up, it becomes more pliable, more malleable. Remember also, guys, the resin polymerizes quicker in volume, meaning in a narrow, long container, just like we sometimes need it. But keep in mind, for liquid resin, prepare everything in one go and work swiftly. Not haphazardly, but think it through step by step. Here's my tip for you, sit down. No matter how funny it sounds, sit down and note down the steps what you need to do, detailing every step. Take a jar, stir, mix colors, add the middle, insert the stones. So everything is step by step. And you should set everything up for yourself according to this list. A table where everything is prepared and organized. Searching for my pigment or my tape in the studio will just waste time. Being organized accounts for 90% of your success. I've mixed the resin, now we're going to add color. Since I'm using a low but large dish, I'm going to split the entire coloring in half. This applies especially since we're working with a half-filled product, so I have to adjust how much color to add accordingly. Not sure how much color I would add for a full product, but for the half, that is, you also need to adjust accordingly. If you know the effect you want takes a certain amount of grams, divide it in half. For my cherry blossom color, I had to think about how much color I need for my dish. This doesn't apply to all dishes, it's just my method. For my cherry color in my dish, I use 30 grams to start. The second color addition will be smaller. You should also logically understand that the second round will be less, maybe 25 grams. The third round could be 20 or 25, and the rest is for adjustments. Remember to clean our mold, your mold. That nothing spoils our pour, so that everything comes out nicely clean. Because cleanliness, even if you don't get the effect, but cleanliness of work, this is much in our business. So please make sure that you have everything on the work table was clean during pouring, the dyeing. My favorite part, I want to create a cherry hue. That's why I'm taking this wine color, but here, guys, it must be thin. It's good that it's running out, so it's not too thick. Here, three drops for my gram. Mix well. Oh, what a tasty color. Generally, the first color is thin. Again, yes, you heard me.
Look, it's colored but not opaque, meaning thin. It's colored but not opaque. You must be careful with the resin. I generally don't advise beginners to take the liquid resin right away because it's very capricious. There's much to do in it. You should do everything very carefully and prepare it. When you're a beginner, you always ignore this or you don't understand how much it needs to be vary. You need to mix the pigment. See, I'm even rubbing it right on the wall, almost like in a mortar. I've mixed it. That's it. Now I'm going to have pure red. I'm going to take a resin pro dye. It's just super bright red, and it should be opaque and dense, unlike the first one, which we did loosely. Already, I'm stirring. Actually, I wanted to make four colors. I wanted to make cherry. I went in. I'm checking. Look, if you're not sure what colors to make, go to Pinterest, type in, for example, red color and the combination. It will give you the palette, which colors look cool. If you're not sure, I, even if I'm not doubtful, I still go in and check for the sake of an interesting look. What cool combinations can there be? I just went in and I just like this wine in red. Huh? All right, so quick. Go ahead and put your pigment into the liquid resin. Note that this kind of stuff doesn't deal well with errors, so watch out. So, there you have it. Do you need or not any mother of pearl? What's your opinion? Let's go for one with mother of pearl. All right, I'll show you if it was necessary or not, and then you can continue experimenting on your own. So here I'm doing a mother of pearl one. 15G plus five of these. Using a duckbill spout, make sure to pour our colors evenly. Initially, I wanted to pour them layer by layer, but since I'm running out of space, I'll pour each color separately. You can watch and do what you like. I'll pour gently like this. Look, I have a flower-shaped mold, and where the bend of the flower is, I pour a little thinner than where the petal itself is so that it spreads more evenly. I hope you understand what I said. So no, I'll still pour a red one nearby, because if we add it to the wine-colored one, it will be lost altogether. Next to it, red, dense, and I will not bring it to the edge, so that the color is uniform again. Now it's pearlescent. You can go to Cherry, you can go to the junction between the red. I'll be at the junction between the red, so if you see that your fill already takes up more space, just add a little less pigment. There is also white, just as clearly on the mother of pearl, not very thick. It, so quickly pour out our transparent resin. Now I'm going to distribute it among the dried fruits and exactly in the center. You should already have something ready for decorating the middle. So there is, I'm going to decorate the core with this coral, and well, like a core. Yes, it's hard to say the core here, but it will be the core. Yes, now what I want, I still cooked something, and I also want this black crumb to powder it like this and let it be green, a little green neatly. I'm going to mix all this beauty now, leave everything to polymerize. You can carefully remove the bubbles. 